Hi, this is Dr. Shirley Caruso. Thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a storyboard using Bubble.us. Let's head over to Bubble.us to get started. To sign in, you can register with your email, Facebook, or Google account. No matter which option you choose to create your account, it's a good idea to use your Embed Codes for Projects and Passwords for Sites document to record your username and password for this site. I'm going to log in with my Google account. And I do not want to start the free trial for these features, so I'm going to say maybe later. With this free version, I'm going to be able to produce three mind maps. If I want to produce more, I will either have to open a new account under a different email, or I will have to delete one of my mind maps. So what we're going to do is we are going to storyboard for assignment nine which is the Wix training website. So let's look at the assignment details on the syllabus before we get started here. For assignment two, storyboarding, you are in charge of designing and developing a training website, which will be assignment nine, for your chosen group of employees at Zoom and Groom. To facilitate your design and guide your decisions in developing the training website, Use Bubble.us to storyboard your ideas and create a mind map. Specifically, you need to develop a storyboard for the training website topics, components, and contents. That is to say, your new hire orientation, which is assignment three, interactive training tutorial with quiz, which constitutes assignments four and five, voice narrated presentation, your assignment six, instructional video, your assignment seven, and screencast, assignment eight, and also show their relationship to one another. Notice also that the map should clearly show the relationship of components with arrows and labels. The topic and content of each component or module should be clearly stated. Levels of structure, there should be at least two levels of structure and each level of structure should have its own color, and the overall look of the map should be clean and professional. So now that we're back at bubble.us, we can use this first green plus sign to start a new bubble. This is going to be called training website, And you can even clarify further and say who the training website is for. This will be your chosen group of employees, the dog walkers, dog groomers, receptionists, or office managers. I'll just leave it blank for now because this is just an example. And you can pick up and move these bubbles around. You can make them larger or smaller. If you want to really emphasize this first bubble so that uh, you know right away it's the main bubble, you can make the text bold. You can choose a color of the text. And you can increase or decrease the size of the text. You can also use the alignment feature to center align your text. From here, you're going to create what is called a child bubble. A child bubble because we are now going to talk about a very brand new topic, and that topic is going to be the first assignment that is due for the website. 
And remember that first assignment is the new higher orientation, assignment three. So we're going to add that here. You can even say that this is assignment three. And you could even clarify that you are going to create this with Prezi. So for now, we're going to use that as a main bubble. If you would like to change the color of this bubble to make it stand out further, you can choose a color. Choose purple here. And then I'm going to move this over to the side. And I am going to create another child bubble. And this time, I do not want it to be purple because that would be the same color as this project. So I'm gonna give it another color. And I'm gonna to go to the next assignment, which is interactive training tutorial with quiz. So this constitutes assignments four and five. And that's going to be done with Google Slides. And here, uh, the new higher orientation, that's pretty much the topic or the title. But this interactive training tutorial does not yet have a topic or a title. So you are going to have to determine what the topic or title of your interactive training tutorial with quiz is going to be. So in this instance, your Zoom and Groom graphic organizer for the chosen group of employees is helpful. So as you can see here, we've already storyboarded for assignment three, which is the informational presentation or the new hire orientation. Here are the details and I'll get to that in just a moment, how you would add a bubble for each of these assignment criteria. But now we're interested in storyboarding for the interactive training tutorial. We know that it has to include these things, so we're going to include bubbles for these things, but our main bubble has to state the topic. So here is where you can choose up to three topics for this particular assignment. You would choose one of these listed assignments, and once you have chosen it for assignments four and five, you could not then choose it for the following assignments six, seven, and eight. So it can only be used once. So let's say that we are going to choose how to control correspondence, how to design filing systems. So we would go back to Bubble Us. And underneath this interactive training tutorial, we would give it a topic. So we could call this one Correspondence and Filing. And then we would want to show that we have a module here that is called How to Control Correspondences. And we want this to be uh, the same color as this bubble because it belongs in the same family. So we're going to make sure that we're using the same color. And then we would want to create another child bubble that represents the second training topic that we chose. which is how to design filing systems. OK, 
Okay, so we got that roughed out. Uh, then we're going to go next. And the next thing that we see is that we need an online voice narrated presentation, which is your assignment six. And we get to choose one of these topics. We cannot choose control correspondence and we cannot use how to design filing systems because that was already chosen. So here, just as an example, we're going to create a new bubble, give it a new color because it is a new assignment. You would then choose your topic and fill it in there. If you would like to remind yourself that this is the voice narrated presentation. And here you're using Google Slides as your tool. That is fine. So we have that roughed out. We're going to add another bubble. We're going to change its color. We're going to move it over here and we know now that this has to represent one of the new components. So this is instructional video and then we need one for a tutorial or a screencast. Instructional video. We need to give our instructional video a training topic. So I'm just going to fill this in here that this is our topic. And we're going to do the instructional video with Kanimoto. And finally, we need another child bubble of another color. This one is going to be, we're going to give it a topic, it's going to be a tutorial, and we're using Screencast-O-Matic. And again, you're getting your topic information from your graphic organizer for your chosen group of employees. So here is where you're choosing the topics and make sure that you are specifying the topics on your storyboard. So I'm going to separate things out a bit because you'll see the next step is to really give some more details to your storyboard. Remember that each assignment should have its own color so that you could differentiate very easily between the assignments. And so I'm going to give you an example of what you would do uh, to detail further your assignments and I'm going to just give you an example of a couple of them and then let you finish your storyboard. So for the new higher orientation assignment three, which is your Prezi, you're going to go back to that graphic organizer. Your syllabus gives you the same details, but let's use the graphic organizer. And for this assignment, you need six topics, and they are spelled out here. History, mission statement, services offered, location, salaries, and job descriptions of employees. So I'm just going to copy that right now. And you also need six subtopics, 10 animations, four images, and shapes or arrows. So once you get into the uh, tutorial for Prezi, you'll see that Prezi allows you to add circles, two different sizes of circle. 
larger circles and smaller circles. So the larger circles are called topics and the smaller circles are called subtopics. And Prezi also lets you add animations, images, shapes, and lines. So right now we're going to be concerned about the six topics and the six subtopics. Assignment three is the only assignment that pretty much dictates to you what the topic is and what the components are to consist of. The rest of the uh, assignments, you are going to choose the topics and you're going to choose how to de design them based on the assignment criteria that's listed in this column. So let's try out assignment three, which is Prezi. So we know that we need six topics. So we're going to add six child bubbles here. If we do a control enter on our keyboard, we can add them a little quicker. So you can see that I've added the six topics here. Your assignment says that you will also have to add six subtopics and that means that the six subtopics are a total for the entire presentation. So under history you might want to have two subtopics, maybe just one. Under mission statement maybe you have none. Maybe under services offered you talk about the uh, four types of services that are offered uh, at the facility. Uh, so some of these topics might need more subtopics than others, but as long as you have a total of six subtopics throughout, then that is what the assignment criteria says. And you can see right here, six topics, six subtopics. So I'm going to rough this out. I'm going to assume that for services offered, I'm going to need two subtopics under that. And here I'm going to talk about dog walking. Here I'm going to talk about dog grooming. I'm going to stretch this out a little so that it is legible. Remember, your storyboard also has to be aesthetically pleasing, so things have to be spaced out, very readable. Uh, then I'm going to determine, so I have two, I need four more subtopics. So under one of these general topics, I need to add four more throughout somewhere. Uh, so salaries is a good place. So I'm going to talk about uh, the salaries of the four different job categories. Now you may choose to add your subtopics somewhere else. So here I can talk about uh, dog walkers, dog groomers, receptionists, office managers. I actually do not need this bubble so I'm going to delete it. So here are my subtopics and I have six throughout. So this is a pretty good representation of a storyboard for that particular component that has been roughed out. You do not have to go into detail about what you will say about each of these items unless you want to. But here you do not have to as long as it's roughed out. So this is going to give you a guide. Once you start your Prezi assignment, you will see the components that you need to include. Uh, let's go on to assignments four and five. 
So if we look at our detail graphic organizer, and remember you may not be training the office manager, so you will have a sheet that looks just like this, but it will be for your specific chosen group of employees. At any rate, uh, the criteria for the assignment is the same. So for assignment four, you need a title slide, intro slide, graphic user interface, 10 slides of content, conclusion slide, and you also need an assessment. So going back to bubble.us, here you need to decide because you have chosen two, two modules here or two training topics here, you may decide that your 10 slides of content might be divided equally between these two topics. Uh, you might decide that how to control correspondence needs more than five slides. So you might do six slides here and four slides here. Remember, 10 is the minimum. If you end up with having a couple more slides, that's perfectly okay. So I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm going to need five and five. So I'm gonna add my five here. And then I'm gonna add five here. Now the thing that I need to rough out now for each of these is what I'm going to include on each of these slides because these are content slides. So you may decide that how to control correspondence takes five steps to learn. So you might want to say this is step one and tell me what step one is. This is step two. Same thing for how to design a filing system. Maybe you're going to do a task analysis and you are going to break it down into steps. And each slide of content is going to represent those steps. For this assignment, you also need an assessment. So here, I am going to add a bubble, and this is going to be the quiz. The number of questions on the quiz is determined by how many questions it takes to thoroughly assess your learning objectives. Since you have 10 slides of content, it is easily assumed that you will need 10 questions to assess each slide of content. So somewhere between eight and 10 questions is sufficient for the quiz. So I'm just gonna add a child bubble here and I'm going to say, add eight to 10 questions. So it's a reminder to myself what I need to do for that. I also need what's called a graphical user interface. So I'm gonna have a bubble for that. I also need, and about this tutorial slide, FAQ slide, contact slide and navigation slide. So I'm just going to build those in to my graphic user interface. And I need a conclusion slide. So you can see here, I've gone ahead and I roughed out the criteria uh, using bubbles to represent the criteria for assignments four and five. You will further detail these bubbles here according to what you have decided your content should be. Moving on to the voice narrated presentation, you would choose a topic. This needs a title slide, some content, at least two content slides, and a conclusion slide. So you would rough out here what the content is going to be. So decide based on this sheet 
for assignment six, what you have decided that your content is going to be. Then for assignment seven, you would do the same thing. Choose your topic. Know that you need a title slide, an image, a video clip, and a conclusion slide. So you might want to rough out what image you decide you are planning to put in there. Uh, rough out a good idea of what the video clip is going to include. And then finally, for assignment eight, you need a title or an introduction, the actual content, and then you need a conclusion. So here you would choose your topic, and then based on your topic, you would rough out what the content is going to include. So the storyboard is getting you a head start on the entire semester for your training website, and it's giving you a plan to go back to as you begin each new assignment so that you know what you have in store or what you have planned for each of those assignments. To submit your completed storyboard to desire to learn you would click on share, choose embed, copy the complete embed code or click here to copy the HTML then you would log in to Desire to Learn. Click on the Assignment Submission folder for Assignment 2. Make sure you review the criteria. And here you are going to choose Insert Stuff. By clicking Insert Stuff, you'll get an option, a menu option, and you are going to choose Enter Embed Code. Paste the embed code that you just copied from bubble.us. Then click insert. If you can see the storyboard, then I can see the storyboard. If you can't see it, that means I cannot see it. Now, in order to submit this assignment, you will need to also add a file. And the file that you are going to add is your updated timeline. So once you have added your timeline, go ahead and say add. And finally, say submit. And you should be able to see not only your timeline that has been attached, but you should also be able to see your storyboard here. If you cannot see it here, that means I won't be able to see it either. Finally, click Done. And then you will receive a message that says that you have submitted this assignment. Thank you again for joining me in this tutorial how to create a storyboard using bubble.us, and I'll see you soon.